absolutely amazing at 155. All right, coming to the cage now is the debuting featherweight in Diego Lopez, fighting from team, fighting out of Team Link. Team Link, a very, very well-touted school. Yeah, he's also training out of Junico. Very good team. They're another one of those guys that they have a lot of guys that come out to fight at Cage Titans. They fill this place up. They're always, they're always get a big reception, and it, a lot of it is due to the uh, coaching ability of Crew Loco Lobo. This guy is a great coach. He's coached so many guys, and he's in there. He's in everyone's corner every time they have Junico fight, fighters fight. Yeah, Junico, one of those schools that's just highly regarded in all of New England. They've got some great results again, with some great fighters, as you just mentioned. This is another one of those matchups that's just exciting to look forward to because it's almost like a respected rivalry here between Team Junico and Team BST. There's been a lot of fights in between fighters like that, and they always bring on good shows. Absolutely. I know firsthand the uh, rivalry between BST and Junico. I was on the front line. Now you were against uh, Razzle Dazzle, right? I did. Uh, me and Razzle, we fought for the title back in January. I was able to win that fight, but every time we go up against Junico, it's always a tough fight. Much respect between both schools, I know from experience, and much talent from both schools. This is one of those matchups I am so looking forward to seeing. Yeah, very good matchup here. And the way this fight, this fight night's going, the show just keeps on getting better and better and better as the night goes on as Diego Lopez makes his way to the cage. Now, Moses is a guy, we trained with him at BST. He's wrestled internationally. This kid is a beast. He's got great, he's got great cardio, great wrestling, and don't sleep on his boxing either. Yeah, I remember when I went to buy a ticket from him earlier this week. I went out of work, dressed up to the gills, and he still wanted to spar me. He's tenacious, he's technical, he's extremely athletic, and he's very awkward in his movement. It's going to be a tough fight for both guys, because it's, again, a testament to how good both schools are. He's also a master of cutting weight. Yes, Moses cut a lot of weight for this fight. Making his debut at 145, he's an extremely long, lanky, angle-cutting, tall 45er. And there's another one of those, we've seen a couple matchups like that where there's been a size difference, and they've played out many different ways. So we're going to see how this third one comes out. Yeah, Moses super lanky, super tall. It's going to be very hard. It's going to be a tough thing for uh, Diego to deal with. Diego's not that short but he's definitely shorter than Moses. This is a long walkout song, ladies and gentlemen. And here he comes. Moses Soto making his debut, sporting a ski cap as he walks in. Looking very focused. Extremely determined fighter. Coaches Rolando Griffith, Mark Cartarelli, Julio Colon. the cage for the first time another battle between fighters making their mixed martial arts debuts and they've proved to be extremely great fighting tonight 
Our next matchup, 145 pound amateur match set for three rounds, three minutes apiece. Introducing first in the red corner, making his amateur debut, representing Team Judico. His opponent in the blue corner, also making his amateur debut, representing Team BST. Give it up for Moises Soto. Now, All right, referee Steve Reader taking the center. We got Lopez in the white trunks, Soto in the black trunks. And this featherweight bout is about to commence. The cage door is locked, and we are underway. The glove touch in the middle. Soto looking to establish his reach. Now, I don't know about Diego's striking game, but I do expect him to have very good jiu-jitsu coming out of Ju Junico. Soto eating a bunch of hand, uh, right hands, pulling guard. He's got the butterfly hooks in. He's on his back. Diego very fast out there. Bit of Diego a trying to time a right hand, hand when Soto gets out. Soto lands a right hand in the exchange as he's backing up with those long legs. As he slips a kick and falls on his back. Lopez. Oh, that's... He's hurt. Right, oh, he's oh. Hurt, and that's it. Soto's out. out. Soto is out. Diego Lopez. He slipped on the kick, Very fell on his back, and Lopez pounced on it and landed some vicious, vicious punches from the top. Rained down with tenacity, and Soto was hurt badly. Doctors checking up on him, making sure he's okay. He looks to have his wits about him, and Lopez, a show of class, walking over, making sure his opponent is okay. Diego Lopez just came out like a bullet fired from a gun. He nonstop the entire time went after Soto. Never let up until he got that TKO. Soto sitting up, talking to the doctor. Lopez, show of class, staying on his knees, waiting for his opponent to get up. Soto back up to his feet, as he seems to be okay. As we await the official decision. Great show of class between these guys. Again, a respectful, respectful rivalry between Junico and BST. shown between these two fighters in a tremendous matchup between two highly skilled featherweights. Yeah, you know, two of the best camps around, Junico, BST. I have a feeling this won't be the last matchup between us two.
All right. We are approaching double digits as we are about to introduce our 10th fight of the evening. Another welterweight matchup between Johnny Rodriguez and Marty Navis. Rodriguez coming to us, making his debut out of regiment training. <laughs> 